if you've never been to the Arms Museum because you thought you would be viewing a collection of guns and ammunition, you couldn't be further from the truth. The Mahoning Valley Historical Society's Arms Family Museum of Local History is showcased in a glorious arts and crafts style residence built and lived in by Olive and Wilford Arms until the donation of the home to the Historical Society. Now the exhibits in this home reveal the legacy of the Mahoning Valley's people with hands-on displays and historical artifacts along with restoration to the home's early 20th century glory days. This was the family residence of Olive and Wilford Arms. Uh, they built this house on Wick Avenue in Youngstown in 1905. Uh, they were the only family to live here right up until when Mrs. Arms died in August of 1960. And through her will, uh, she bequeathed the property to the Mahoning Valley Historical Society, and we took ownership of it in March of 1961. And um, people, since the museum opened in February of 1964, have from time to time thought this museum was about guns and swords and shields and, and other types of armament. Well, the misperception of the name, as far as what kind of museum it is, creates two different uh, reactions. We have some people who, who come here or they've heard of the museum and they say, well, it's a museum of guns, why do I want to see that? And so they'll avoid it. And, and I've had numerous people who actually visit the site say, you know, I've lived here for 20 years and I've heard about this museum and I thought it was about guns, but it's about so much more and I'm, I'm sure happy I found out about it. And, and so that makes us feel good. Then there are other people who think that it's a museum of armaments and, and they're interested in in that and they come here and they're disappointed and the most notable example of that we had uh, was Mel Torme uh, who we all know is a great swing musician who passed away recently uh, was here in Youngstown to play a show and saw the sign for the Arms Museum and came to the door uh, Mr. Torme was a gun collector himself and was expecting to see other collections of guns and was very disappointed to find out that it was a historic house and a local history museum and so that was very disappointing to know that Mel Torme was disappointed. What you're really going to find is the historic house that the Arms family lived in and also a number of exhibits that relate to the history of the Mahoning Valley and especially the Mahoning Valley around the city of Youngstown and uh, those exhibits are on the second floor of the museum and we have a gallery in the lower level of the museum which is a hands-on history room. The first floor is the Arms House and looks very much like it did when the family lived here uh, right up to 1960. All the furnishings that you see there, the artwork, the collectibles, um, all the uh, built-in pieces, um, the, the hardware, everything that was custom designed for this house is still exhibited as the main rooms of the house on the first floor. This house, uh, which was called Greystone by Mr. and Mrs. Arms when they lived here, in and of itself is a very significant historic building. Um, a one-of-a-kind personal work uh, in the arts and crafts style of the early, early 20th century and uh, the craftsmanship in the house is exquisite. Uh, all hand done. Um, part of that movement of the early 20th century where we went back to thinking about hand craftsmanship and, and the quality that came out of that. Uh, behind the museum building we have the original carriage house on the property which as well was built in 1905 and we used it uh, for storage up until about 1981 when we began a project to renovate that building and we've made it into the Mahoning Valley Historical Society's archival library and here people can come and look into the archives collection of our historical society and, and do research on family history and genealogy uh, we have records from local companies and, and institutions churches clubs things of that nature uh, we have government records here uh, we have published and unpublished uh, books and manuscripts on the history of this region and uh, photographs in the tens of thousands, some other audiovisual materials as well. Uh, Greystone is located at 648 Wick Avenue, which is right on the edge of the campus of Youngstown State University.
We're a block north of the Butler Institute of American Art, so it's a great opportunity to make a day of it as far as visiting local cultural institutions of, of note.